Good morning, third graders. Welcome to Civic Hall Performing Arts Center. I am Mayor Dave Snow, and we are thrilled to have you here today. We're going to showcase for you one of Richmond's finest artistic opportunities, and that is the Richmond Symphony Orchestra. Now, for many of you, this will be your first time seeing the Richmond Symphony Orchestra, but we certainly hope it will not be your last. And we are thrilled that Maestro Bordeaux is going to be out here with you a little later, and he's going to teach you about the instruments and the sections that make up an orchestra with the use of colors, which is going to be very exciting. Now, today's Colors of the Symphony concert is made possible through the generous donations of our education sponsors. So I'm gonna read a list of sponsors that we want to thank, and at the end of the list, I want you to applaud and thank our sponsors. The Ronald McDonald Foundation, Bethany Theological Seminary, Hills Pet Nutrition, J.M. Hutton, Jeevan and Amy Shaker, Wayne Bank and Trust, and of course, Richmond Community Schools. Let's give them a round of applause. Now, before we begin, I'm going to give you some of the expectations of a symphony concert. It's a little different than other concerts you might have been to, okay? So first of all, remain seated and silent throughout the musical pieces. Even more importantly, listen actively to the music. Try to listen to each of the instruments and how they all come together to build a symphony. And then applaud appropriately at the end of each section. You think you got that? That's pretty easy, right? Well, you're gonna really, really enjoy this show. So at this time, it is my true pleasure and I want you to help me in welcoming the Richmond Symphony Orchestra's conductor, Mr. Guy Victor Bordeaux. Give him a round of applause.
Well, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. We're very happy to have you here for this concert with the Richmond Symphony. And before we learn anything else, I want to have you learn uh, your first musical word. It's in Italian. And the music we just played is in a fast tempo or speed. And the word we use for that is allegro. Can you say that for me? Allegro. You can do better. Allegro. I still think you can do better. Allegro. That's what I wanted to hear. Well, so now you know that the today's concert is called Colors of the Symphony, and you see the colors red, yellow, blue, and green, and they're colors that we see, but there are four colors that you hear in the orchestra, and we're going to demonstrate them all. And we're going to start with the woodwinds, and you can see all the, or excuse me, the strings, and the strings instruments are all made out of wood, and they have four strings stretched very tightly and make beautiful sounds, and we're going to start with the violin. This is the highest pitched of all the strings, and demonstrating this is Mari Lundy. Thank you, Mari. Go ahead and applaud everybody. Now the next one, this is the viola, and it looks like a violin, but it's a little bit bigger and a little lower sounding. It's got a beautiful sound, and demonstrating this is Caitlin Fukai. Thank you, Caitlin. Now next is the cello, and it's much larger, and it's so big you sit in a chair to play it. It's got a beautiful sound, and demonstrating this is James Jang. Thank you, James. And the last is the double bass, and it's so large you stand up to play it, or sometimes you sit on a stool to play it, and it's got a very low sound, and demonstrating this is Tony Newmeyer. Thank you, Tony. So now we're going to play for you a piece of music that shows off the string section and the, the beautiful sound they can get. And it's by Mozart, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, from the opera The Magic Flute. So first we're going to start with just the strings alone, and then we're going to play it again with everybody. So here's the string section by themselves. So that's what the string section sounds alone. Now we're going to play the exact same music, but with everybody. And you, it starts the same, but it ends very differently with every, all the other sections playing.
that was strings. Now we move on to woodwinds, and there are some beautiful sounds in the woodwind section. And all the woodwind instruments have a reed attached, except for the flute. And when you blow through the mouthpiece, the reed vibrates, and that's how sound is created. So we're going to start over here with the piccolo. And the piccolo is the smallest of all the winds and the highest pitched. And demonstrating this is Jennifer King. Thank you, Jennifer. Next is the flute, and the flute is longer than a piccolo. It's got a beautiful sound. It's made out of silver, and demonstrating this is Eveline Woolard. Thank you, Eveline. Now we go to the oboe, and the oboe is what we call a double reed. It's got two wooden reeds tied together and, and very tightly, and it makes a wonderful sound. And demonstrating this is Sarah Renner. Thank you, Sarah. And next is the clarinet, and from a distance it looks a little bit like the oboe, but it's got a very different sound, it's got a very different read on it, and demonstrating this is Krista Weiss. Thank you, Krista. And last on stage here is the bassoon, and it's much larger than any of the others, and much lower sounding, and you sit in a chair to play this, and demonstrating this is Eric Louie. Thank you. Okay, so now we're gonna play part of a symphony. We're gonna play part of a symphony by Johannes Brahms and it shows off just the woodwinds. And so we're gonna start out with the woodwind section alone. Here's what they sound like. And you can see they're all in the middle with the yellow paper on their music stands. So that's the woodwinds all by themselves. Here's the exact same music now with everybody playing. See if you can pick out the woodwinds while the full orchestra is playing.
So now we move on to the brass section, and the brass has some very different sounds in it, and all the brass instruments have on it a mouthpiece. And the way you make sound is you buzz into the mouthpiece, and that's how sound is created. So without the mouthpiece, the buzz sounds like this. Try it. Put your lips together and see if you can make a buzzing sound. That's great. Okay. So we're going to start over here with the French horn. And the French horn's got a terrific sound. It's got a lot of tubing wound up very tightly. And demonstrating this is Zach Quartra. Thanks, Zach. Now next is the trumpet. The trumpet points forward. It's got three valves on it. It has a very different sound. You're going to like this a lot. This is Scott Batchelder. Thank you, Scott. All right, next we have the trombone, and this is the only instrument in the orchestra that has this long, slippery slide on it. It's got a wonderful sound, and, and demonstrating this is Alex Kravchek. Thank you, Alex. And last is the tuba, and this is the lowest sounding, the biggest of all the brass instruments. It takes a lot of air to play a tuba, and demonstrating this is Preston Light. Thank you, Preston. So now we're going to play some music by the, the opera composer Wagner, and it is going to feature the brass section. And we're going to start with the brasses alone, and you can see they're all in the back with the blue cards on their music stand. So here's the brass by themselves. So now we're going to play more of that same music, but with the entire orchestra, and I'm quite sure you're going to be able to hear the brasses.
Okay, so now we move on to the percussion section, and percussionists have to do many things. As you'll see, they have many instruments that they have to learn how to play, and the way they usually play them is they hit them with a stick or a mallet or sometimes just their hand. And So we're going to start in the middle with the timpani, and the timpani sometimes are called the kettle drums. They're very big and very low sounding, and demonstrating the timpani is going to be Danny Frank. Thank you, Danny. All right, these next few are going to come rather quickly. So, bass drum. Snare drum. Xylophone. Tambourine. You're going to like this one, the ratchet. And the last instrument all four of them have, these are the cymbals. So now we're going to play for you a piece of music that was written for percussion alone. You're going to hear many of these instruments and some other ones you haven't heard, so we hope you'll enjoy this. Okay, so those are the sections of the orchestra. There's one more thing I wanted to talk to you about, and that is conducting. And so you've been watching me and looking what I'm doing with my hands and my arms, and you think, well, what does that, what does that mean? Well, basically, I'm talking to the orchestra. There are lots of things we can do. Um, so we're going to go back to the music we used for the brass section. It's in what we call a two pattern. It looks like this, one, two, one, two. And I can do many things. I can go fast, one, two, one, two. Or I can go slowly, one, two. Two. I can ask them to play loudly, one, two, or very softly, one, two. So let's try this. I'm going to conduct, and I want you to count, and I'll count the way you think I'm conducting. Let's try it.
That's pretty much it. Let's have you try it. Put your right hand out in front of you. Put your palm down. And we're going to draw a backwards J in the air. Try it. One, two, one, two. Excellent. That's exactly how it works. Very good. Okay, so now we actually have two guest conductors that are third graders that are going to come out today and conduct the orchestra. So our first conductor is Alice Couch. So please welcome our second guest conductor, Gavin Mitchell. So we have one guest conductor from the audience today who's going to come up and conduct the orchestra. Please welcome Jaden Rose. Okay, so now what we're going to do is put the orchestra all back together, and let's review the names of the sections of the orchestra. S say them after me. Strings? Strings. You sound a little sleepy this morning. Strings? Strings. Woodwinds? Woodwinds. Brass? Brass. And percussion? Brass. Okay, so now how many of you have heard of Beethoven, a famous composer? Raise your hand. Yeah, lots of you. We're going to play a piece, a very famous piece by Beethoven. He's one of our most famous composers. Um, he lived a couple hundred years ago, but the Symphony No. 5 has a very famous opening. Uh, let's play the first four notes. How many of you have heard that before? Yeah, lots of you. You're going to hear those four notes in every section of the orchestra all the way through. Um, so I want to also make sure, mention to you, this is the last piece we're going to play for you. So when we're done, I want you to clap really loudly for the orchestra. And I want you also to thank your teacher, uh, your classroom teacher, your music teacher, and your principal for making it possible for you to be here today because we really appreciate their hard work. So this is now the first movement from Beethoven's Symphony Number no. 5.
So great to have you here today. Thanks for being such a great audience. Let's give the musicians one more round of applause. <laughs> 